Hi guys, this is Martin Behringer with Neptune Software and today I would like to show you how easy it is to install our new module Planet 9 on uh, Oracle Cloud. And in order to do so, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our Oracle Cloud uh, dashboard. You can see we already have a compute uh, instance down here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, service console behind that. And take a look at the instance that we currently have uh, spun up on that. So there's the instance called Martin Neptune. And you can see that this is the Oracle Linux 7.4 instance. And this is the uh, IP address. And uh, next what we're going to do is we'll SSH into that through a terminal and install Planet 9. Uh, up until now, if you have any questions on how this is done, uh, contact the Oracle support. Uh, uh, Sonali Jha helped us uh, figure all this out, and she did a phenomenal job, and she'll be able to help you as well. So now let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And let's go ahead and uh, SSH into our Oracle instance and we're now in it and now we can basically follow these instructions here uh, step by step so let me go ahead and make this window just a little bit bigger so first thing we want to do is we want to uh, create a new directory for planet 9 that's what we're going to be installing this so we're going to make a directory called uh, p9 and then we will uh, change to that directory and now all we have to do is uh, run this command right here to fetch uh, Planet 9 from the server. You can see it's very fast. So now we have Planet 9. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, next thing we have to do is we have to make this file executable. So we'll run this uh, chmod command that makes it executable. So from this point on forward we could technically uh, just start Planet 9 and it would be running. However, then if we close the window, Planet 9 would then once again stop. So what we need to do is we need to launch Planet 9 inside of a session called uh, Tmux. So if you don't have Tmux installed, you can download it uh, through yum. In this case, we already have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new session right here. And from this here, we'll switch into our P9 directory and we'll start Planet 9. Planet 9 is now starting up and now we can go to our URL, uh, the IP address right here and then it's uh, port 8080 so you already have this right here and then your default login is admin and admin is the uh, start password. And now you are running inside of Planet 9. Uh, by default, it will set up to use the uh, machine's file system as a database. Of course, if you go uh, productive with this and you want to do something big, you want to also set up a, a Mongo database or another database and then use that as the uh, repository for Neptune. Uh, but this is now running and of course let's go ahead and prove to you it's running so once we uh, stop this right here and we try to go back in here once again uh, it says it cannot be reached and once we launch it again and it starts back up we are good to go Once again, so it's a quick quick video on how to do this uh, yourself. If you have any questions, of course, uh, contact us and support. And uh, thanks for your time today. Have a great day.